If it ain't the world famous gemstone family. You have had the opportunity to be in all three current seasons of The Righteous Gemstones. What is there anything that differs from your time on season three from the previous seasons? And uh, dude, I I'll tell you what, um, I, I think I'm allowed to say this season is uh, very, very much um, a lot more active. Um, yeah. Be seeing, um, you know, us going out and, and doing things, you know, physical things. Um, and, you know, a lot of those physical things were, uh, were challenging and required, you know, uh, people to teach us. And, um, you know, uh, so, yeah, like this season will absolutely be more physical. Um, last season it was Christmas episode. So we were kind of, you know, it was relaxed. We were all just kind of sitting in the house. You know, <laughs> this is, uh, you'll definitely be taking on more of a wild ride with this season. Um, and yeah, like season three, man, I tell you, I had to do some things that, that were crazy. Um, and you know, you'll get to see it. Some things that were sprung up last minute. Um, it is so very much different than the previous two seasons. Um, I think mainly because of the challenges uh, that we all as a cast uh, faced while, while shooting, but they're, they were great challenges. They were good challenges and they were challenges that are going to make this, this particular season just so awesome. I can't wait for it. Let's jump into the, the famous scene from this past season, toilet baby. What was that? When that was pitched to you, what were you thinking? <laughs> like, what was going through your head? Literally just, oh, yeah, that, yep, like, <laughs> because it's, 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 it's them, you know, it's Danny, it's Jody, it's, it's David Gordon Green, it's gonna be a little gross and really funny, and it's probably gonna be sweet at some point, regardless of what it is. There's gonna be some kind of goo involved, always, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. um, <laughs> and there's always gonna be a big change, um, like, and it's, it was just perfect. Like I, I felt so weird. I was like, cool. I'm gonna kind of give birth in a porta potty in front of Joe Jonas. This is gonna be nuts. <laughs> um, and it was. <laughs> That's a fever dream someone had. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, good poor Lord. Joe Jonas. Like, oh, we're 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 literally doing okay. We're doing this. Um, and he was a, he was a very cool dude. He like yeah was down for everything just like a very down actor just ready to go uh when they pulled out the fake baby with blue toilet goo all over it he was like yes let's do this uh, <laughs> the number one question i've been asked was what was on the baby it was blue yogurt oh okay blue yogurt yep. nice. blue yogurt on the on the real baby on the real baby What's the fan reaction been like since the uh, season two has, has wrapped and has been out there on HBO Max for a while? So far, everyone's been super positive. Like I was, I was blown away by how nice everyone has been about Tiffany. Like apparently she's just a likable lady and I'm so excited yeah. because it could have, she, she very well could have been a cliche, like just a mm -hmm. dumb hillbilly, but she has her own thing going on she's there's there's something going on up there we will never know what it is mm -hmm. can't tell <laughs> but <laughs> there's definitely something going on in there and she's not she's not stupid it's not that she can't learn if she's she hasn't learned you know she's been tucked up in the hills so she's she knows what's been around her and that's it and I think being around the gemstones and being around other people has really opened up her eyes to like, oh, this is how other people are. This is, you know, and I've learned, you know, Tiffany learns new words and learns new, new phrases. And, you know, Judy teaches her how to clean herself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She learns about angles, buttholes, and coochie. You got clean those. Um, yep. But yeah, she's, she she's more complex than she she could have been. It could have been a super cliche, just one note character. But um, Jody and and David Gordon Green and 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 Danny are really good about letting an actor sort of have their interpretation on top of theirs. Um, they always bring you back to center if you if you've gone too far. But they do they 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 give you 
some slack, some room to really flesh out your character. He he is just the sweetest, the sweetest person. He'll open the door for you. And um, he's always making us laugh on um, on during like scenes, not during the scenes, but like in between scenes, he'll um, he'll make like funny noises and funny jokes. And um, it's so cute because little Tristan who plays um, Calvin, Mm -hmm. um, he was just cracking up and (laughs) It's it's just he's amazing and he's so talented and I am so honored to have met him. He is great. He is incredible. So at first uh, we didn't know a lot about the the like the younger version that I was supposed to be playing, mm-hmm. but um, we did know who it was played by. So to kind of get the mannerisms that Edie Patterson um, does and how she acts. I studied by watching Vice Principals. Excellent. And I absolutely loved it. It is so hilarious. So, um, <laughs> so um, I went in to the audition and um, then I ended up getting a callback for it. And in the callback, David Gordon Green was in the room with me and he gave me a bunch of directions. And um, then we played around with improv and stuff like that. And (laughs) it's really funny. My mom always does this thing where like when I get a role, she'll um, call me by the role's name. So I was walking out of school one day and um, I was walking out the gate and my mom goes, hey, Judy. And I'm like, are you serious? And she was like, yep, I'm serious. And I was so excited because um, we were gonna be going to South Carolina and I just absolutely loved the character that I was doing and yeah. So, so I, so I booked gemstones and then they go, well, how do you feel about nudity? I was like, oh yeah, I'm fine. You know, topless. I did this movie where I'm topless, where this guy gets hypnotized and you know, I, the whole movie, I, I've literally belly out, tits up, you know, no big deal. <laughs> and um, so then they're like, well, uh, how do you feel about full frontal? And I go, eh. I'm like, well, you know, Danny's doing it. And I go, <laughs> Wait a minute, wait, wait. Danny McBride is doing full frontal on HBO. Oh, I'm calling BS on this one. Like, yeah. uh, I, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think. And then I, ironically, that pilot I was telling you about where I'm the serial killer, that was up in Baltimore and it, it and that got extended. So it was like, I could, then I couldn't do it. So I kind of got off easy. So then the, what happens is then they have to do a casting call where they have to take photographs of everyone's penises. <laughs> and the Finn Cannons are pissed at me. They're like, they're, they're like, they can't be pissed because they know they're not supposed to put pressure. If it was the other way around, would you show your vagina? But, but they, they know they're supposed to. But, but the point is, Lisa May was just like, tell James, thanks for making me look at 150 penises today. That's how my day, before I had breakfast, I had 150 penis pictures in my in my <laughs> inbox. Like, that's how my day started. How was your day? She says to my agent. This is how I started my day. I didn't even have my coffee yet. And clicking my email and it's like, there it is. 150 penises, little micro, little micro mushrooms just waiting for me to, to start my day. So please thank James. And then I, I knew they were lying that Danny was going to do. I was like, Danny's got a multi-million dollar deal. He is not going full frontal on HBO. Sorry. With all no. the euphoria, weeders, every, like I, I just not happening, you know? So I, I, I called it out for what it is. And then I turned to Danny and I was like, Danny, dude, I was like, why did you pick like the smallest? And he goes, cause it was funny. Isn't it funny? I was like, yeah, but now people think it's me. And then I'm like, and, and then I'm like, I feel like I have to go. It's not my penis. Not my, and then the more you say it's not your penis, the more they think it is your penis. Exactly. 